first and foremost. I want to say in praise his honor and glory. Ti hawa ba Hashem yahawa shai, ba Hashem rachakadash. All praise his honor and glory. Ti hawa ba Hashem yahawa shai, ba Hashem rachakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone <clears throat> that rule well and blessings to the hope for the elect teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And um, yeah, man, you know, pretty much just, um, you know, I'm on the job, man. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really have a specific, a specific topic to go into, man, but, you know, I just wanted to, you know, through the spirit, whatever comes in my mouth, just, you know, say something, you know, words of exhortation. You know, it's just open, you know, open meditation, you know, this is a video, it's going to be like open meditation, things and, you know, how you're supposed to be conducting yourself here in these last days, man, because, you know, these the same, the same cars and these lorries that you see around me, driving on these, you know, dual carriageways, motorways, whatever, they ain't going to be no, you know, there's going to be no method of transport in that day, man, right, there's going to be no fuel, <clears throat> there's going to be, uh, you know, no more deliveries of goods and services, Ain't gonna be no more Ubers, right? You're gonna have hyperinflation. And we're talking. I'm talking about the time of Jacob's trouble, man. That the Bible speaks of, okay? Which, you know, when when the Lord, you know, finally opens up on this place, <clears throat> the scriptures speak about in Daniel's twelve and one. It's gonna be a time like no other since there was a nation, man. And that's prophecy, okay? That's prophecy. You know, you're gonna have the RFID microchip being pushed out by Esau, the elites. They want to chip everybody. They want to, you know, monitor your every move. You know, and there's going to be certain people that ain't going to take that chip, man. You know, mainly the elect. But then you're also going to have certain rebels, you know, that are going to live on the outskirts of uh, society, so-called. Like they show you in films like, you know, Demolition Man. You know, certain man's living underground eating rat burgers. Yeah. Which, you know, they, you know, the time of, you know, food is going to be so scarce out here. People are going to be eating each other. All right, that's the level of, you know, the famine's going to get so, so real, you know, just like in the time of kings, man, just like in the time of old, and that's what the scriptures speak about, Romans 15 and 4, the things that are written before time, being written for our learning, man, okay, we're coming into times of great, great distress, <clears throat> we're coming to a time of great perils, and that's why, you know, it would only be the elect, and the Lord says what, you know, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry, okay, in, we're coming to the days where, you know, if you if you ain't trusted in the Lord, if you ain't trusted in Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rechak Kaddash, then, you, you know, you're just going to be left out there completely defenseless, man. And you don't want to be left out there defenseless. Imagine that. You know, if it, any boxer going to a boxing ring, uh, you know, and, um, you know, having not trained, you know, literally doesn't know, you know, don't, don't know how to fight. And, you know, not, not being able to throw a punch and he's just holding, you know, just being, just being tied to the ropes and being hit over again, over and over again repeatedly, man. That's exactly the situation that these people, you know, or, you know out here, especially the, the two-thirds of our nation, they're going to be out here defenseless. You know, two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to be tied up against the ropes and you ain't going to be able to throw your hands, man. You ain't going to be able to have no form of defense. You know, you're just going to be a punching bag in that day, man. The Lord is going to, fi you know, finally open up. Hey, just like he did, you know, when he showed, when he burned up that place called Paradise over there in California, man. All right? Do you really think that, you know, just hours before that event had taken place, all right, that destruction had taken place, do you think that they were worried? Do you think that they were thinking about, oh, gosh, I'm going to die? Or, or, you know, my dad's going to go missing? Or, you know, I could, I could potentially melt, you know, in the, uh, in the front seat of my car? You know, do, do you think that they woke up thinking these thoughts? No, they didn't, man. But that's what I'm saying. The scripture says, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, man. Okay? So when, when hey, man, when, when they say peace and safety, man, look, sudden destruction comes upon them, you know, it, it, even the mighty men, even the mighty men are going to be in, in great pain, man. Even the mighty men are going are gonna to cry like women. All right? That's what the scriptures say, man. So you got to understand that you know, that's, and, that's, and that's another thing, man. you got a lot of, you know, scoffers and scorners out there that are fulfilling prophecy alone, to, you know, when the, when the scripture says they shall come in the last days, scoffers. And you can't tell me that we ain't in the last days, okay? Give me evidence to prove that we ain't in the last days. Since you're a scoffer and a scorner and you know everything, why don't you tell me your breakdown on how you know that we're not living in the, in the end days? Like, you can't, you know, like, you, you can't see the, the wars and the rumors of wars. Like, you can't see trannies walking all out. 
you know, t- walking all over the place. Like, you can't see America legalizing, you know, homosexuality, marriage, like gay marriage. You know? Like, you can't see these things, man. But we can see it. And we prophesy against it. Like, we see all these pedophile rings that, you know, Esau's involved in, man. And we prophesy against all of this. All of this wickedness. But then you want to come up against us. Okay, we're the wicked ones, though. But that's why the scripture says what? They they hate them that rebuke within the gate, man. You know, our job is to literally go out there and teach this word, man. That's all we got to do. Be, be, you know, preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. And you know something, man? The Lord has got something so much like, you know, the scripture says much is given, much is required, man. What the Lord is going to give us for, for what we're doing. I remember Apostle Taha saying a long time ago, it's a quid, quid pro quo, meaning this for that. That's how the Lord is dealing with us, man. It's like, look, you do this, and I'm going to give you this, and I'm going to give you that, you know? So don't think that your word, you know, your, your work is going out void, man. Your work ain't going void, you know? The scriptures speak about the harvest being plenteous, but the labor is few. The Lord sees the few that are laboring, man. All right? The scriptures say he's not uh, uh, unrighteous to forget, to, to forget our work and labors of love. So knowing that, you got to have faith and understand that the Lord is going to, re- you know, he's going to make good on his word. Because the Lord is not a man that he should lie. He's bound by his word, man. The disciples said to the Lord, look, we give, we've given up everything, man. What is that, Matthew 19? About it, what, the last couple of verses in that chapter? He says, what, we, they said, we've given up everything to the Lord. He said, what should we have there for? He said, look, man, you know, everything that you've given up, don't watch that because you're going to receive a hundredfold, you know? The Lord says you're going to receive a hundredfold, man. And you got to believe it, man. If you, look, man, if you don't believe, man, then what are you doing, man? If you don't believe, if you don't believe that the Lord is coming back, if you don't believe that we're going to inherit the kingdom, man, if you don't believe in these things, then what the hell are you doing? You know, just go and live your life, man. Just go and be a reg- in the kingdom, man. You just go and be a regular citizen in Israel, man. You know, and to be honest, bro, I ain't trying to, you know, Lord willing, I ain't trying to be a regular citizen in Israel, man. I want to be, look, man. I want to be, I want to be one of them guys, man. All right, you gotta want more for yourself, man. You gotta, you know, you gotta be want to be of the elect. You gotta want to strive for greatness. You know. Jake's, you know, Jake's always talking about, yeah, man, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta make it, man. You go, hey, man, well, this is making it, man. This is it. You know, being a part of the elect, that's making it, man. <laughs> you know? Hey, but, you know, before we get there, you know, much tribulation, Acts 14 and 22, it says, we through much tribulation to enter into the kingdom, man. You know? So, like, you know, like the scriptures say, rather, much is given, much is required. So, we gotta, we gotta keep pushing, man. You know? And Satan, you know, Esau's coming against us, man. Now more than ever, you know, putting up images like, you know, the average so-called black man is the new face of terrorism now, man. You had that guy, you know, graffitiing over there in the States, graffitiing all over the place saying kill all Jews and that. You know, the Esau knows what he's doing, man. He's demonizing, uh, you know, the, the face of the so-called Negro is the number one terrorist, you know, in, in the, um, throughout the face of the earth now, man. You see, that's why they put... They put us all up on these social medias, man, and all on the news, and us being like, you know, the, the you know, basically the the, the 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 thieves of the earth, the the the, the, the low lives of the earth, okay? Because they demonize our image, man. They they demonize, you know, the the, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. When you have these TV shows, you know, the ones that are, uh, you know, doing all the robberies and muggings, they always they always they always look like Israelites, okay? Why do you think that is, man? Because, hey, it's the curses, man. The nations, they look down upon us, man. You know? They say we have swallowed her up, man. You know? And, hey, Israel had enemies, man. You got uh, people talking about the Lord, Lord loves everybody. Hey, but the Lord's coming back to save his people, Israel, man. Read Luke one sixty eight, Okay? And that we should be set. And when you read on down in, in Luke, the first chapter, from the 68th verse on down, it, said, it goes on to say that we should be saved from our enemies. So, yes, Israel have enemies, man. We have enemies. And read the enemies in Psalms 83. Right? Our enemies are all the other nations, man. And they look down upon us, man. Okay? So, we don't have no friends, man, from the other nations. We don't have them, man. And a friend means a brother, man. The only one that we can turn to right now in these last days are the brothers. First and foremost, how about Shemir Hashem and the brothers that are like-minded that are doing this work, man? That's all we that's all that's all we can turn to, man, here in these last days. These fucking demons on this road, man. You know, let me concentrate on this driving. Alright, man, look, man. You know, yeah, because we're coming into the days where we're gonna look, man, we're gonna need to call upon the name of the Lord more than ever, man. 
Now, if you ain't calling upon his name now, then hey, man, you better get used to building that relationship up with your Yahweh from your shine. Right? Don't just call upon him because the scripture says what? In their affliction, they shall seek me early. Only when shit gets tough, when the going gets tough, that's when you're going to see Israelites calling upon the name of the Lord, man. All right? But the Lord's going to be like, move from me because I never knew you, man. You know? And you don't want to be that guy, man. Trust me. You don't want to be on, on, on the most size hit list, man. All right? The scripture speak about it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. It's a fearful thing. All right? So with that, man, Lord willing, you are we're edified, man. Just a few words of exhortation. I'm on the road. You know, I'm on my way to work. And, you know, hey, man. <laughs> Brothers, we've got to stay strong in these last days, man. All right? If it be the Lord's will, we be of the elect. The elect, man. We're going to get saved out of here, man. There, there ain't too much long left, man. You know, brothers, you know, brothers, women having visions and, you know, me personally, my woman had a vision recently, you know, like, what, two years ago, but I did a video on it recently, you know, that, that boosts a lot of brothers' faith, you know, and, that, you know, I'm, you know, all praises to you, how about you, how about shy, man, I'm, I'm glad that that video was exhortational for brothers, and, and may we see more, you know, may we have tales of more visions, man, and, you know, because the you know spiritual power is coming. Hey, you know what the scriptures say, man. In the day of that power, that people shall be willing, man. So we ain't got longer left, man. We ain't got too much longer left, man. We just got to hold tight, enjoy the ride. We're in exciting times, man. Yeah, man, enjoy the ride, all right? Because the Lord, hey, man, the Lord is bringing down Esau's kingdom, man. So enjoy that, <laughs> okay? The Lord is gonna do it, not us. We ain't no black identity extremists, but the Lord is gonna bring down Esau's kingdom, man. And Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. So enjoy that. Enjoy, you know, seeing his downfall and the rise of and the rise of our kingdom, man. Enjoy it. Alright, brothers? So with that, man, I'ma say, I'ma say shalom, man. Shalom.